On the other issues that the opposition has raised, and I think as we have indicated, we have as a PG resolved that we shall resist any attempts by the opposition to force or to blackmail government to implement policies that have failed. And particularly, because Emmanuel, I think you are the one who has asked about the issue of UNGA going to 100 shillings. You will remember, there is a gentleman from NTV, you will remember there was no UNGA that was available to Kenyans at 100 shillings. You will also recall the former Cabinet Secretary of Agriculture, Peter Munya, asserting that the subsidy program for UNGA was unsustainable and was called off way before the election. You are also aware that the same program has been questioned by none other than the Auditor General and the Controller of Budget. That the subsidy programs that they are now trying to blackmail government to reinstate were programs that were designed to loot billions of shillings from the Kenyan people. And that is why we have asserted as a parliamentary group that we shall support the government's policies towards subsidizing production to enable cheaper food land on the tables of Kenyans. Two, the other issues I think that uh, listening to our colleagues in the opposition is issues that we have stated that we want to adhere and we have called on them in our statement to also to adhere to the rule of law and the constitution. They are asking us to open servers. This parliamentary group has asserted that we have no key to any server other than the key to open the economic servers to reinstate our economy to where it ought to be. On IBC servers, that matter was well addressed by the Supreme Court. The opposition is within its rights to seek a review under the Constitution and under the law from the Supreme Court on the issue of any servers that they think was not done by the Supreme Court. They can go back to the same Supreme Court. On the reinstatement of the Cherera 4, there are no provisions under any law or under our Constitution to reinstate officers, public officers, who have voluntarily resigned from public office or those who have been removed from public office, as the case was, by uh, four commissioner Masit. And I think on the cost of living, we were clear we shall support the government's policies that are what we sold to the people of Kenya when we went around the country campaigning. And we sold policies to the people of Kenya that the people of Kenya agreed with by voting for the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Therefore, the failed policies of the last regime cannot and shall not be forced on either government or the people of Kenya because the people of Kenya rejected them in the elections.